Hey everybody, it's time for Cheap Eats. I'm Ralph, that's Steve, and we're spending the day in Culver City. And we're gonna go to Mexican restaurants in Culver City. We're gonna start off at El Habaneno where they chop and dice and make all this fresh food. And then fantastic tacos at Taco Miendo. And then we're gonna sneak over to Tito's and have some of those Tito's special alleys. Remember, if it ain't spicy, it ain't nice. <laughs> We're here at El Habajano. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. It's got great sauces. Yes. It's cafeteria style. It's all fresh made, and you feel like you're south of the border. But you're right on Inglewood, south of Culver. And they make those big burritos. I want one A of them. A super burrito. It's like this big. Oh, let's go get them, baby. All right. I've been coming here to El Habajano since 1968. The first time I came here, my dad asked me to come over and get him a torta. Back then, they made the tortas at the store, but they had a little window that they had the kitchen back here. Yeah, I've been coming here for many, many years. Hey, everybody, I'm talking with Ramon. Ramon, you manage this place. Correct. And you're part of the family. Exactly. How, where did this place start? How, how did it begin? It started in 1969. Yeah. Uh, it started as a, as a market. Uh, it had groceries, Mexican yeah. groceries, which were hard to get at that time. And where do the recipes come from? They come from my mother-in-law. Okay, that, all the way back then. Exactly, she's the one that Great. created all this. You know, she started making sandwiches for the workers at uh, Hughes Aircraft, which is, that used to be down ago. the street. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yep. You know what, Steve's back in the kitchen cooking. We should go back there and check on it. All right, let's all right. go. Okay. So Ramon, we're going to make, uh, what, what's your best breakfast dish? Chicken chinaquiles. Okay, so as I understand it, we've got chips going in here. Correct. We've got this special secret sauce. Correct. With the chicken going in here. Now what do we do? Okay, once he has the chips nice and crispy, okay. uh, he's putting the eggs in there right. while the uh, chicken is heating up and mixing with the sauce. Now tell me what's in the sauce. I can't. You can't. No, that's what gives you it clear. You have to kill me if I do that. Ah! I'm coming here at night and squeezing this that's, out. Of you. That's okay. a secret. Anybody can make chilaquiles, but they need the sauce, and it's mixed with eggs. I love that wrist movement. Mm -hmm. The wrist movement does it all. Mm -hmm. I bet you. Take this here. Put it in here. There you go. Ooh. Mix it up. It goes on the plate. He puts some uh, dry cheese, cotija cheese, on top. And then it comes with rice and beans. Mm. So Ramon, the beauty of this restaurant, because I've been here probably a hundred times, is that everything that you see out here is made fresh. I've seen you do it. And then everything is, is, is hand assembled as the people come up here. Exactly, so you, you see everything. It, it's sort of like you get a whole view of it, and then you, you pick and choose what you want. That's correct. Now, the, the specialty that I love is those taquitos. What's different about them compared to the regular taquitos? Uh, well, most people think of taquitos as the uh, rolled up hard shell tortilla. What we call taquitos, and this, I don't know how it started many years ago, somebody named it taquitos, and I think it was my father-in-law who just decided to make it for lunch one day, one day and said, this is a taquito. But it's two tortillas dipped in oil, shredded carnitas, cheese, and avocado on top, rolled up. Ooh, baby! Let's make it and let's try it, okay? All right. All right. We have the uh, shredded carnitas here. And that's is, pork. Exactly, pork. For the non-educated carnitas lovers. Then it goes with some cheese right on top. Fresh cheese, kind of. Yeah, Monterey Jack cheese. And a slice of avocado. And a little west side, little west side avocado. And we just roll it up. And there you go. So it, it sort of looks like a small burrito. It's not like there's a traditional taquito where it's fried. It's just luscious. Now, you know, really the best way to tell this, and the way I've always told it, is you hold it up to the camera, then you hold it up to your face. Mm. This is like beating SC in a football game. Mm. Mm -mm. So we've got this shrimp who I call the ooh la la baby because it's got the hot sauce for it. Mm. 
Mmm, Diablo sauce. It's Jesuit's golf. You must have hibiscus to go with it. You know what? Look oh. at this super burrito. I am going to do this. Mmm. Um, that is packed with the best, most rice and beans. Fantastic. And look at this. Do the guys. Chips and beans. And all this homemade sauces. Hot, hot, and hotter. Well, that's a great way to start the morning. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Fantastic.